Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to another episode of Herping Lebanon. Uh, today we started our day very early in the morning. Uh, I didn't get any sleep because I was very excited and high at adrenaline. Because our trip is taking us to the very south of Lebanon, to Haramon Mountain. We're gonna search for uh, one of the rarest gecko species in the world and also there is some amphibians and frog species that I'm willing to find because it's, it's uh, quite an explored area and there is potential for many interesting stuff. So stay tuned. Almost there, we met our guides for today, and they're taking us to the spots where they find, usually find reptiles and all other stuff. So it should be interesting. I'm extremely excited, and the nature is fantastic here. I'm looking forward to find more in uh, interesting reptiles, amphibians, and stuff I haven't seen before. Guys, we are getting closer to the Mount Haramon. Look at this area. This is so epic. There are barely any people. Oh, there is a huge pond here. Let's explore for amphibians. We are so stopping here. And here we go. Our first snake for today. It's a dye snake in the water. As you can see, it's a bit far. We will look for more snakes around here. It's Swimming on the surface though, which raises a question, maybe it's some, something else. Guys, I do not believe it. We just found one of the main gold species for today is the tadpoles of the spadefoot uh, frog or toad. Pelobatis syriacus. They are giant, they are like the largest tadpoles I've ever seen. Um, I'll try to catch one of them to show you up close how big they are. So guys, I failed to catch the tadpole. I need a net or something. I will try another spot for that. And I'll be looking for adults meanwhile. So we are sure that the tadpoles exist here. And the toad is around. So we're going to be flipping for the toads. And looking for them in the mud because that's where they usually hide. Uh, I really hope we can find an adult and take pictures of it, or at least a young one. But after finishing the metamorphosis, so we left the pond for a while now. We'll go get the net and come back to it to catch some tadpoles, take close-ups, and we come. We'll come back at night for more toads and frogs. But now we'll be herping in this area. We'll do some rock flipping. Uh, we'll find, uh, there are lots of uh, Arenee species, blind snakes, and hopefully other species that we're looking for. I still want the Kochi gecko, but due to the situation in Lebanon, we will not be able to go very close to Haramon Mountain that you can see there. So hopefully, we'll find other species or the Haramon gecko somewhere around here. Now we're going for flipping. Wish we made the trip in spring, but we couldn't, so we're paying the price now. It's too hot, the sun is high, and there's no clouds whatsoever, so if there's anything, it will be hiding now. There's cool funnel web spiders They're everywhere. So guys, we left Mount Haramon because it's too hot there, and we'll come back at night for to see spadefoot uh, Syrian spadefoot frogs. 
But now we're gonna take a boat and circle around here to see some awesome dice snake. All right, guys, let the adventures begin. We will go all the way over there and circle around this forest. It's all watery and there will be turtles, dice snakes, frogs and other creatures. I'm looking uh, for some interesting morphs like the melanistic and can color dice snakes. Maybe something new as well because last time we found a striped morph that was not recorded anywhere else in the world and we are working on a paper on that. So stick around and enjoy this trip and let's go. Yalla. Check this epic wetlands. This is awesome. We've seen a bunch of turtles for now. No snakes yet, but this looks like a hot spot for dice snakes. We'll be looking for them now. So wish us luck. And there guys, you can see uh, the first dice snake we found. It's climbing up the plants out of the water. It's a lovely specimen with some nice bright spots. It's hard to stop and take pictures of it without it diving back to the water so we'll continue looking for some different species beautiful Maurimis rubulata swimming underwater let's hope she resurfaces here she's coming towards us oh she's eating she's feeding on the plants underwater check, check this out. out what a lovely scene This is beautiful. They are usually omnivorous, they feed on both the animals and plants, but this one prefers the local algae, despite the presence of other food sources. And they believe it, they have philosophy for it. Man, man, they are actually in Hindi, they are based on the knowledge they have been on the earth, on the satellites, on the orbit. And guys, we're progressing in the stream. There are less snakes than expected. I think we should have came in spring. It would have been much more interesting. We only spot one snake and lots of turtles and all that. Uh, but the journey is epic anyway. Like I'm enjoying just spending time in the water away from everyone and everything. But we will go farther and see what we can find. And there you can see another Marumis Rivulata. Uh, just some bathing there, not caring about our presence. It's an adult one. It's a striped neck uh, slider or levantine pond turtle. It has many common names. Uh, they're the only hard shelled uh, uh, freshwater species of turtles in Lebanon. Uh, we also have the almost extinct uh, Nile soft shell or African soft shell, but they're rarely seen if at all. Like only a few specimens were observed in the sea from the last, past, for the past few years. These ones are available almost in any water source, river, ponds, and all that, and they're thriving around here. That's a beautiful specimen. I'll take still shots of this one and continue our journey and search for snakes and other stuff. And there is a beautiful coot kind of bird. Looks like a mini duck, sitting there. And there's another one diving around underwater and catching fish and bringing it there. I don't know if it's nesting right now, but it's really cute. If anyone knows what's the species, please uh, comment below and help me find out because I'm not... Finally, guys. As the day heading to an end, dice snakes are climbing up the trees to uh, prepare for the night. And there we saw our first melanistic dice snake just resting on the tree near another normal colored one. I will try to get as close as possible to take pictures. So hopefully we get lucky with that. Uh, 
Give it to me. Huh? And guys, probably the coolest part of today's trip so far. Right. It's yawning. That's so cute. Uh, as you can see, its body is the body is fully black. You can actually see the spots, but they're almost invisible, depending on the lighting. Uh, these guys have uh, high pigmentation level in their skin and all that making them very dark in color uh, This is a hot spot for these I was hoping to see them and here we are we caught her after it was sunbathing on the tree We'll take still shots of this beauty and let it go And now guys we're gonna re release the melanistic dye snake back to where she came from Yeah she will find her way back to the trees and all that. Here she goes away. And there is a big beautiful and there is a big beautiful checkered female sitting in the water. Just chilling there. I don't know if we'll be able to approach and get closer pictures of that, but that's really big. I think it's the biggest one we've seen so far. So let's try. Going back to the pond we were nearby in the morning to film some adult uh, Pelobatis syriacus and spade foot uh, toad. Uh, this area is still near Mount Haramun and there is no people whatsoever. It's kind of scary but totally worth it because I think it's a new location for the existence of these frogs in, in Lebanon and hopefully we'll do some publication about it. Let's see how it goes. So guys, we are here and it's time to look for the toads. Finally, it will be my first time. I'm so excited to find some and catch some tadpoles now as we got to the net with us. So wish us luck. And there you got a cute rodent of some kind. I don't know if it's gerbil or something else. It was crossing the road and just stood there. So I'll take pictures of him before he runs away. And it's time to look for those amphibians around. They're usually hiding most of the day because it gets really hot here. And they're supposed to come out right now. I don't know what time of the year is the best for them. But the tadpoles right now are still halfway through their metamorphosis. They're huge, but there are no uh, feet or whatsoever growing out of them so I'm assuming the adults will be around as well okay guys check out this tadpole it's probably the large scene look at how giant it is this is definitely belongs to the spade food frog that I didn't manage to find any adults until now I will look a bit more but it's a sign that the species exists here in the area and it's a new record for them actually. So I will let it go before it dehydrates. Uh, this is really cool. <clears throat> I'm so looking forward to find the adults. And this is so humongous. It's larger than any other species we have in Lebanon. But despite this fact, the toads themselves are not that huge actually uh, they're as big as the green toad maybe but and these tadpoles can stay without metamorpho uh, without undergoing metamorphosis uh, up to a year <coughs> so after taking a few pictures I will let the tadpole go to 
the others. Bye-bye.